got a very special invitation from the Mission Ballroom. So we got invited to tour this place, not just inside the, inside the ballroom, um, but also outside. So literally, if you look up this place on Google Maps right now, you'll just see a bunch of old warehouses and dirt roads. That's how new this neighborhood is. We're not here to really show you the Tycho and Poolside concert. We are here to show you what a night at the Mission Ballroom and around the Mission Ballroom would be like. Yes. Food truck park and booze garden. I'm starving, so uh, we're gonna check out booze and gourmet hot dogs. Okay, so if you come to a concert here this year and then you come next year, it'll look completely different. So this area here that's fenced off is gonna be completely built up with high rises and it looks like there'll be a lot of high rises, so the ballroom will actually be hidden. There's your, I swapped them. Trade in, there you go. Close enough. That's the one. There you go. Boom. We're still in, you know, kind of grand opening mode, so it's everybody's first time here. All the murals here are all local. The main bar, obviously, there's points of sale everywhere, so uh, if there's a line, just keep moving, yeah. and there's more drinks to come. We're calling this mission forward. So all of these pieces are photos of the bands that have been done by local artists too. In certain instances, we're having the band sign them and then they're up for auction. And all that money goes back to Rhino Arts District too. Oh. Um, initial thoughts, it feels like an indoor Red Rocks, which is so awesome. They're designed so that everybody in front of you, you can see directly over to. So you have a clear sight line for kind of everything as it comes. It feels like a large arena, but it doesn't feel like you're too far away from anything. This cup, you can keep it and every single time you come back to the Mission Ballroom. Every time you remember to bring your cup back, you can bring it back and then you never have to buy another cup. And then you can also, during the show, just get refills um, out of this cup and they're cheaper. It sounds like a win-win for everybody. Our booking team has amazing amounts of relationships between the industry and you know all bands that we've worked with before. You know, like I said, go, coming from the Bluebird Theater, you know, in some instances Larimer Lounge and smaller venues, kind of all the way up through Red Rock. So um, we've you know we've luckily had some really great histories with a lot of really great bands, and it's only going to get better. I mean, Bob Dylan, we just announced. You know. Yo. All right. So, what would you think of this? Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10 would recommend, and here's why. It's a really intimate environment. You feel like you're really close no matter where you are. While it's really intimate like that, there is enough space to dance. I am clearly a person who <laughs> takes up a lot of surface area to dance, but there's space, there's like space for everybody to dance and it doesn't feel too crowded. The uh, open air poolside, the guy, the main lead singer said, I never knew about Denver until we played here, and now it's one of my favorite places, which is, that always happens when you come to Denver. Yeah. <laughs> 